Hi guys, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom. I am Lavinia with your November 21st to 2016 reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. I also want to thank you for your loyal support and your best wishes. Continue to like, share, and subscribe and show your love. For personal reading with me, visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.wibbly.com Book and purchase your readings. Email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com The sun enters Sagittarius on the 21st jupiter the planet of abundance then forms a square to pluto on the 24th we can be quite ambitious now feeling that if we set our sights high enough we can achieve anything we may take on too many interest activities or desires under this influence it's a call to exercise caution and to be rather practical We're starting off with memories, adult children, and take the next step now. So memories, good, all the good that you've experienced, all the good that has happened to you, um, you're being asked to honor them, all the good memories, all the good people that you've met, honor them this week, okay, and open your heart to being deserving of all good okay see things clearly and remain grounded understanding that this is a period of conscious evolution understanding the cycles in your life understanding omens rituals you know and really honoring them really paying attention to what is taking place both spiritually evolutionary and personally adult children this could be you who is the adult child who needs to make responsible decisions and choices to show your elders how responsible you are, okay? This could also be your parents who are now the adult children needing assistance and care from you at this point in time, assisting them in remaining grounded, assisting them in communicating lovingly and really understanding um, the evolutionary process, evolution of, of for everyone. Okay, after one time is another, I'm hearing they're saying, after one time is another, very strongly. So when you understand those changes and really focus on all the good that you've had and that is yet to come you're being asked to take the next step now okay you will intuitively know what the next step is if you do not know what this means at this point in time there's no need to worry okay it is a call this week to trust your intuition okay and be ready and willing to head into the unknown okay while seeing things clearly spiritually having faith in the unknown being able to take the next step now, just being guided, instinctual movements, subconscious actions. I'm feeling this strongly for you this week. So really be guided accordingly and um, um, ask your team for messages and synchronicities, twos and threes, you know, so that you don't make any missteps, all right? And um, for fear, those of you who fear you make missteps, there's no need to worry because um, no matter how far you've gone off course, you know, the universe always gives you an opportunity to backtrack and really heal the old, heal the past so you could um, learn the lessons um, that you need to learn at this point in time and move forward. Okay, so um, you will be, you will intuitively know what the next step is. Onto the Angel Feather Oracle for the next set of your messages. Invite a miracle. This is your main energy for this week. Invite a miracle. The angels love receiving invitations to be part of your life. Ask and you shall receive. So, um, a miracle could be anything. Don't look for specific form. Hold your dreams and desires. Okay, the way you could do so is remembering all the good. That has happened thus far okay but remain grounded they're offering you the burgundy angel feather 
It's a symbol of miraculous beauty. When you invite the angels into your life, miracles begin to appear. A miracle could be anything, all right? But just hold all the good memories that you had have had so far keep them in strong focus your affirmation is i am open to miracles on all levels i am leading a miraculous life i am a miracle and this week the symbols that you need to focus on are wealth success prosperity energy vitality richness firm direction self-empowerment creativity romance vigor maturity leadership refinement and unconscious beauty so um abundance affirmations wealth affirmations understanding and knowing that you are deserving of all the universe has in store for you okay and focus on all the good that you have achieved so far and all that is yet to come okay a cycle in your life they're saying has been complete and a new one is about to unfold, okay? New beginnings, you know, really bringing in the new and um, understanding all what has taken place, yeah? Because you have, you have healing hands, all right? You are a healer. Light work is your mission. That is lots of communication, yeah? You know how you serve at this point in time. Reiki healers, those who are into communication, PR, um, um, uh, social media, and all that great stuff. You you have healing hands. All right? The angels acknowledging that you have unique healing talents and abilities. Your magical prowess is required in service. And those of you who are not sure, um, you could feel the energy in the hand, you know? Um, it's warm yeah very warm healing hands so when you communicate whether it be through social media or your voice verbal communication it reaches out to millions okay this is how you are able to serve okay this is your mission you have the mission that you took up to be of service okay so the angels um, are here to let you know that you're a healer you have been called upon to further develop your healing abilities your healing hands are able to feel subtle energies okay and I know like I could be on a bus and I could just I could feel the energy in the hands you know subconscious information coming in about people or feeling stuff about them that you know you would not be able to know had you not taken up your mission to serve okay so your affirmation is i have healing hands i'm a healer i'm a channel for divine grace this is creative expression of ideas medicine optimism practical outcomes safe travel especially at sea nursing carers complementary healing okay and they're saying could just stay where you at right now and i'm gonna do this Everybody who's watching now, whatever healing that you need, at this point in time, I'm sending it out to you. Love, abundance, um, health, um, money, whatever area of concern for you at this time. I'm using my healing hands to send light, love, blessings, and abundance to you all who are viewing at this point in time. Okay? Receive it. Be open to receiving love, abundance, light, okay, and many blessings for whatever ailments that you have. Those of you who are sick, okay, who are ill, who don't know where your next meal is coming from, who are just lost and need guidance, I send healing to you. I'm going to choose a couple countries, the Ukraine, Russia, Rome, for healing, okay? At this point in time, my heart is being called to the UK. So, light, sending light to the UK. My UK followers, sending light to you. Light, love, and many blessings. Receive it. Okay? So, you could do this. Those of you who are healers, okay? You could do this simple healing for all. All right? Um, um, 
new work at the end of this all the next step could be offers of new work the angels are here to present you with new choices regarding paid or unpaid work a new career job hobby a project is on the horizon they're offering you the caramel angel feather okay and this is a symbol of career change for some the angels are working behind the scenes to orchestrate a series of angelic synchronicities that will deliver you to a gleaming instant when everything comes together okay so that will be your next step you will be intuitively guided as to what to do next pay attention to the signs okay you could, if you, those of you who feel the subtle energies you could feel it in the hands you could feel it in the body touch your body ask what is it you would like me to know today what do i need to know your affirmation is i am open and ready to receive offers of new work i am open to new career possibilities this is enthusiasm and sensible projects as well as to remain practical and grounded while you look out for miracles beyond your wildest so on to your message from god's promises trust him completely Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Okay, what does this mean to you? This is 1 John 4 verse 1. Question everything that comes your way this week, I'm hearing. Okay, um, and give everybody a chance to show you who they really are to show their true self and when they do really listen okay because they're not lying okay so remember like share and subscribe let me know what you're going through you know and for personal reading with me to know more about what's happening with you personally check out the links in the description box below have an amazing week